gentleman from Arizona is recognized for one minute. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and thank you, Mr. Palmer, for sponsoring this amendment, which I support wholeheartedly. I support Mr. Palmer's amendment to prohibit funding for implementation of the District of Columbia's Reproductive Health Non-Discrimination Act, which passed the D.C. Council in 2014. This law limits the ability of employers, including pro-life organizations, to avoid hiring applicants whose personal beliefs are contrary to their respective missions. Today, Congress can begin to right this wrong. Think about the real effect of this law. Organizations like March for Life, Americans United for Life, Susan B. Anthony List, or Family Research Council, among others, whose mission is to advocate for the sanctity of life, could be forced to hire individuals who disagree with those very principles. In a 2012 case, the U.S. Supreme Court unanimously affirmed the right of religious organizations to hire employees that support the mission of the organization for which they will be advocating. We cannot allow 13 D.C. council members to circumvent that decision and strip employers of their constitutional rights. The United States Constitution explicitly grants Congress the power to exercise exclusive jurisdiction in all cases whatsoever over the District of Columbia. I believe we have a responsibility to ensure the D.C. Council is not, is not infringing on the religious liberties of pro-life organizations. I encourage my colleagues to support this amendment, and I yield back.